Okay, so uh, for this part, practice question four, all the way to practice question eight, we focus on solving uh, uh, using the graph to solve a certain equation. Okay, so this one, right, we, we are not finding the actual value. We are finding the equation to be drawn. Okay, so if you, I will be showing you two questions. Practice question four and five. After that, you can give it a try for six, seven, eight. Okay, so if you recall from practice question one, okay, so what is the method if you want to solve certain equation to the graph? So the method will be from the equation to be solved. You got to manipulate until you get your curve equal to something and this something will be the straight line and the solution the solution will come from the intersection intersection of the curve and straight line so that is the main idea so the challenge part again is the manipulation okay so and the manipulation when you're doing the manipulation bear in mind your curve if you have no idea that your curve is going to be your aim of course you don't know what you are doing okay so bear in mind what is your aim okay so let's look at practice question four so practice question four you need to imagine that the graph is already drawn for you so that means, right, the graph has already been drawn. So this graph is your aim. So this graph is going to be your aim in solving the equation. Okay, so if you look at part A, if you look at part A, the equation that you will need to solve look like this. So if you observe the equation, this part is already your curve. This part is already your aim. Can see this is already your aim. So that means right y is equal to minus 12. So the this is the equation to add. So what kind of line is this? This is a horizontal line. So which means, right, if let's say the graph looks like this, okay, I, I just anyhow draw the graph, huh? So for example, this is my graph, okay, this graph here. If when you add a horizontal line, y equal to minus 4, you will get the solution from the intersection. Okay, so this one is very easy. Okay, then let's look at the second second equation. So in the second equation that you are interested to solve, okay, you realize this part looks very much like your aim. Yeah, you do, it does look like your aim, except that minus eight is missing. So what you're going to do is you introduce a minus eight. You introduce a minus eight on both sides and your graph will appear. Your aim appear already. So when your aim appear, you actually get y equal to 5. So this will be the equation that you're going to add. And this is again a horizontal line. So meaning right, if I put add in a horizontal line, y equal to 5, you will get the answer dot 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 dot. Okay, so you always bear in mind your aim, but sometimes, of course, it's a bit difficult. So maybe sometimes you need to multiply something on both sides. Maybe you need to subtract something on both sides. Maybe you need to sub divide something on both sides. Okay, so, okay, I will show you one more. Okay, it's the same strategy. Okay, in practice question five, uh, this is my graph. So if this is my graph, that means, right, uh, this is my, I know what is my aim. 
my aim is this graph. So my aim is this graph. Okay, then I will explore the equation that I'm supposed to solve. So if you look at part A, this is the equation that you're supposed to solve. If you observe the equation, okay, uh, this part looks quite close to the equation, except the fraction is missing. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply 1 over 10 on both sides. So I'm going to multiply 1 over 10 on both sides. And after I multiply 1 over 10 on both sides, the graph appear. My aim appear. And this side is a value of 4. So I'm going to add in this line. And again, this one is a horizontal line. So you add in this line and you put a dotted. Okay, you will get the solution. Okay, so where else in part B? 1 over 5, that is the equation. So you need to compare this part. Compare this and your aim. They look almost the same, except the fraction is a little bit different. So how are you going to achieve the fraction of 1 over 10? So to me, it's very easy. You just multiply a half on both sides. So you multiply a half on both sides. Because when you multiply a half on both sides, this part will give you the 1 over 10. And then this part, half times 8 will be a 4. And this will be your aim already. So this will be the line to add. So if I need to add this line to my graph, again, I got to come out with a small table. Okay, so the, strat the strategy doesn't change. It is something that the method is fixed. The manipulation part is challenging. So you bear in mind your aim and your strategy to manipulation will be, you can multiply something on both sides. You can divide something on both sides. You can subtract something on both sides. So you, you just try to do something to both sides. Okay, so you can try the idea on practice question six. Practice question seven and practice question eight. So sometimes for practice question seven, some people will get a bit confused because they presented the graph in this way. So sometimes when the graph is presented in this way, uh, our brain don't really function. So when the graph is presented like this, you make Y the subject. So this is your aim. So this is your aim that you will like when you're doing the manipulation. Okay, so you give it a try to see whether you can complete until practice question eight nicely. Of course, there are some complex ones, but you must bear in mind, no matter how complex, the method doesn't change. Okay, so you must stay with the idea. The, the idea doesn't change, but the graph equation, of course, it changes.